Hello chess friends, today I'd like to show you an amazing chess problem by Werner Speckman and the solution as always is very pleasing to the eye. So it's right to play and win the game in 11 moves. So if you like just go ahead pause the video and try to find the solution. Alright, so I'm expecting that you brilliant people have already got the answer. If not, do not panic as the solution uh, is very pretty. It has a beautiful flow to it and once I show you the first few moves, you'll be able to guess the rest effortlessly. So here we go. White, White's first move is to play rook to b1, attacking the bishop. And here's the point, the bishop cannot move. For example, if the bishop moves to something like bishop to c3, now we pick up the pawn on b5 and after a4, we have rook to b6. Now the mating net is ready. And after something like bishop a5, knight to c8 is a check, followed by a very pretty checkmate. All right, so that's the reason the bishop cannot move and that's why black's best defensive tries to play a4 this is designed to prolong the uh, prolong the defense but white nevertheless will win so first things first we will capture the bishop and now white is threatening to take the pawn on b5 followed by rook a5 that will be a checkmate and that's why black's only defensive idea is to play b4 so black is blocking white's path on going on to the fifth rank but white says all right if I cannot enter from the B file, I'll just shift to the C file. And now the threat is to play rook takes C5 followed by rook A5 checkmate. So black plays C4. Now we have rook to D2 attacking the pawn D4. And you might have already guessed the flow. As I've said, the, it has a very beautiful flow to it. And once you see the first few moves, the rest is pretty easy. So rook to E2, E4, rook to F2, F4. Rook to g2 attacks the pawn, g, g4 and here comes the point. After rook to h2, there are no further pawns and after h4, the pawn is not supported and you can pick it up. So rook takes h4 will now win the game after something like a3. White rook enters the game on the fifth rank finally and uh, now something like black plays a2. We have rook to a5 and that's a very pretty checkmate. You can see all of the white pieces except the king of course is participating in the beautiful mating net. The bishop controls squares like b6, b8, knight controls the important square of b7 and the rook delivers a checkmate. The beautiful thing I found about this problem is that white forces all the black pawns to advance before he finally delivers a checkmate. So hope you like this beautiful chess problem by Werner Speckman. Thank you for watching and do subscribe to my YouTube channel as a lot of new videos are on the way.